Jack Bloom banned from Bara and Alex residents slammed government for failing to intervene in the plight. From a news desk, I'm Lebo Changela. The day in Gauteng Health spokesperson Jack Bloom has been banned from the Chris Honey Barakwanath Hospital by security guards on the grounds that management doesn't like his visits during which he also takes photographs. The Integrity Commissioner of the Gauteng Legislature has ruled that Bloom can make unannounced visits. He's also determined to ensure that the ruling is respected. I think this is absolutely outrageous. I'm a public representative. I'm trying to do my job. I need to do oversight and see conditions at this hospital. And it's completely unacceptable for them to bar me from visiting the hospital. And furthermore, to put my picture up front in the guardhouse makes me look like a criminal. I'm not a criminal. I'm a public representative. It's my right and duty to visit hospitals. And they shouldn't be able to prevent me looking at problems and exposing them. Residents of Alexandra Township north of Johannesburg have accused government of failing to intervene in their complaint that foreigners are getting RDP houses fraudulently. They have put up posters and delivered letters warning the foreign nationals to leave the RDP homes within seven days or face attacks. The township was the first place in which foreigners were attacked during the 2009 xenophobic attacks. SABC reporter Edwin Ntsidi is in Alexandra. Tensions have been simmering in Alexandra between foreign nationals and locals for some time now. Local residents want foreign nationals occupying RDP houses to vacate them before it's too late, warning that if they don't, they will forcefully remove them. So far, locals have identified 25 houses that they believe have been occupied by foreign nationals, and they delivered letters with the ultimatum to the houses. They've accused foreign nationals of paying bribes to get these homes. Adrian City, SABC News, in Alex, north of Johannesburg. Blood splatter expert Ian van der Nurst says that the steel pole used in the Eugene de la Blanche murder could have been swung like a cricket bat. Van der Nurst is testifying in the Circuit High Court in Fentersdorp in the northwest. He was explaining how blood splattered on the floor in the bedroom where Terra Blanche's body was found. The right-wing leader was bludgeoned to death on his farm over the Easter weekend last year. Two farm workers, including a teenager, pleaded not guilty to charges ranging from murder to aggravated robbery. SBC senior court reporter Kenneth Klein has the details. And Cambridge Morganyana will act as interim CEO of the Premier Soccer League following the resignation of Zolama Javu. The league's chairperson, Irvin Koza, made the announcement in a hastily arranged briefing at the league's headquarters in Johannesburg earlier today. SBC reporter Vincent Sitsula has more. Majavu was appointed the CEO of the league on the 1st of August this year, replacing Ketel CM who reached the end of his contract. Majavu resigned over a disagreement with the Board of Governors over who should make senior staff appointments, such as Chief Operating Officer, Chief Financial Officer, and the Head of Legal. Cambridge Mongonyana will act as the league's CEO until a permanent appointment is made. Majavu did not attend the briefing. Vincent Sitsula, SABC News, Johannesburg.